Okay, here we are in the content section. Again, that would be the tab at the center, of the uh, top center of your screen. Um, and we're under the table of contents. I'm going to jump to chapter one here. And you'll notice, like we saw in previous video, that it's organized by lesson number. When I select the title or the, head, the, the heading here, you'll see there's an arrow that points downward and it opens up what's inside. Um, these options won't be showing for you. But you can go to this link here, it says to collect like terms. This will take you to an external web page. This web page here will have two major things on it. One of them is a video playlist and the other one is notes. Uh, on the video playlist, okay, it will look like just a video and you may be tempted just to hit this button. But the best way to actually navigate these playlists is in the top left, you'll see these three horizontal lines with a little arrow and they'll say one of 22. That means there's 22 videos actually in this playlist. When you select this button, it brings out the playlist here. So you'll notice this is letting you know that any videos underneath this heading are grade nine applied. So this one has one video. If you would like to extend further, you can go into some grade nine academic stuff and you'll notice there's a lot of video there, a lot of videos there. Grade 10 academic, 11 mix, grade 12 college. So it takes you right down for um, showing you many of the possible topics here. Now, many of the playlists actually have different types of videos in. So you'll notice in this one, it goes from grade nine applied as being the, the top video in the playlist. Grade nine academic, if the nine applied one isn't clear enough, you can sometimes jump to the nine academic and a lot of the information is very, very similar. Let's go back to another playlist that may be similar. So um, also, when you are in Brightspace and you select a video, the page actually changes without you knowing because it opens up a new tab and it automatically takes you here. But if you go back to your original tab, the page looks very different. You can take a look at these breadcrumbs here. They are kind of showing you how deep you've gone into a topic. So we're under the collecting like terms, which is under collecting like terms lesson one. That was the subheading of the chapter, which is under chapter one, which is in the table of contents. You can jump to any of these. You don't have to hit the back button and go one at a time. I could jump right back to the table of contents. We're going to go to chapter one polynomials. And like I said, we're going to look at another playlist here. So here's this subheading. I'm going to close it. Let's take a look at maybe distributive property. You'll see it opens up and I can select the link to the page. And here we go. We have another playlist. This one has many videos. We'll take a look and a whole bunch of grade nine applied. Again, grade nine applied. You can sometimes look at the grade nine academic. There may even be grade eight or grade seven videos before that. So if you ever forgotten what you had done there, you can go back and take a look at those videos. They should be able to help you out.